global warming is not an issue anymore. It is rather a situation that needs immediate attention. Various studies suggest that the consistent human activities like the use of electricity, the wide-scale use of fossil fuels, etc. contribute a great deal to greenhouse gas emissions. That's why we at Bureau of Energy Efficiency believe that when it comes to the sources of energy, it's not about how much energy we can generate, it's about how much we can save. A little change in our consumption patterns at an individual level and at industry level would lead to a dramatic lowering of carbon footprint on our planet, which will indeed lead to lowering of global warming. To make it happen, the government has launched National Action Plan on Climate Change, NAPCC, which consists of eight missions to promote and enable sustainable development of all citizens while promoting low carbon and high resilience development path. The National Mission for Enhanced Energy Efficiency, NMEEE, is one of the missions under National Action Plan on Climate Change, NAPCC. The objective of NMEEE is to promote innovative policy measures, regulatory regimes, financing mechanism and business models which will create and sustain markets for energy efficiency in a transparent manner. The Perform, Achieve and Trade BAT scheme is one of the initiatives under NMEEE being implemented by BEE. Perform, Achieve and Trade scheme BAT is a regulatory instrument to reduce energy consumption by energy intensive industries like aluminium, cement, chloralkali, fertilizer, iron and steel, paper and pulp, thermal power plant and textile. BAT is a multi-cycle scheme aimed to cover most of the energy intensive sectors of the economy. Individual units are notified as DCs with targets for reducing specific energy consumption. As India has given an ambitious commitment to the global community to reduce our emission intensity by 33 to 35 percent by 2030 from 2005 levels, scheme like PAD share a substantial burden. It gives me great pleasure to announce that the Perform, Achieve and Trade scheme of Cycle 1 has reached its concluding uh, phase where uh, energy saving certificates will now be traded. The PAT scheme is designed as a market mechanism which seeks to reduce the specific energy consumption that is energy use uh, per unit of production in large energy consuming industries. Bureau of Energy Efficiency is happy to share that in the first cycle we have exceeded the target of energy saving by about 30 percent. These additional savings which has been achieved by various large industries are converted into energy saving certificates. We have issued more than 38 lakhs of energy saving certificates. These certificates can be traded in the power exchanges so that the industries who have done a good work can monetize their energy saving. For the trading of e-certs, Central Electricity Regulatory Commission, CERC, is the market regulator and Bureau of Energy Efficiency is the administrator. POSOCO, Power System Operation Corporation Limited, has been appointed as registry for making DCs as eligible entities for trading of e-certs and bookkeeping of e-certs. POSOCO is proud to be associated with Ministry of Power's flagship program to encourage energy efficiency in the energy intensive industry in the scheme Perform, Achieve and Trade. NLDC POSOCO has been earmarked, identified as a registry for energy saving certificates. The intent of these energy saving certificates is designated entities who have not been able to achieve energy saving conservation with respect to their targets can buy these energy saving certificates and meet their targets. I have no doubt that market mechanism based PAT scheme will go a long way to create 
and make India energy efficient. Aimed to cover most of the energy intensive sectors of the economy, PAT is focused to play a crucial role in improving energy efficiency, Ministry of Power, Government of India, issues e-certs to overperforming DCs which they can trade on power exchanges such as IEX and PXIL. Cycle 1, which was completed in March 2015, which saved about 35.25 lakhs e-certs by 306 DCs. I am very happy to be a witness to the launching of the e-certificates trading uh, program which has uh, just been initiated. Uh, this is a market mechanism uh, to process the uh, energy efficiency certificates that uh, would be launched under the PAT scheme. The CRC uh, has been uh, advised by the Ministry of Power to act as the market regulator uh, for uh, this particular uh, market mechanism and uh, the CRC then uh, issued uh, regulations for the uh, entire e-certificate program including detailed procedures on how the uh, certificates would be traded. Under those regulations, the trading actually is going to take place. The PAT scheme has not only set energy efficiency targets for industries, but in a short span has successfully managed to achieve a lot in great numbers. Be it in aluminium sector, in cement sector, in chloralkali sector, and in various other sectors, PAT's energy savings efforts under its cycle one has been immensely fruitful. Moreover, the success of the scheme also reflects in terms of energy savings, emission reduction, capacity building, savings and investments. That one has been successful and it has shown a lot of potential in terms of investment in energy efficiency sector and in terms of energy savings and CO2 mitigation. The BAT scheme has also helped in market transformation for energy efficient equipment as the scheme mandates DCs to employee such professional as energy managers. I would like to compliment the Bureau of Energy Efficiency for their extraordinary efforts in making this scheme a success.